Welcome Survivor, we're back here in 7 Days to Die Alpha 19. We're still on 19.1, uh, waiting for 19.2 to go stable. And this time we're going to take a look at the junk turret and more specifically the junk turret ammo types. As you might know, in Alpha 19 there are multiple ammo types even for the junk turret. You have the regular one and of course you have the armor piercing and the more shotgun type of ammo with a bunch of pellets in them. And the way this is supposed to work is that the general standard one is good in all situations. The armor piercing are good against the armor piercing ones such as the soldier and demolisher. Whereas you have the more of a shotgun type ammo that is good against regular unarmored zombies such as Mo here and Miss Stripper. I'm going to go through and test the different ones versus different types of zombies just to give you an idea of which one is really worthwhile to use. One big thing that prompted me to do this video now and not before is that it was actually a fixed item in 19.1 where they fixed so that armor piercing rounds now will work properly. Hopefully. And as always, if you've subscribed to my channel previously, thank you very much. It really does help. If you haven't yet subscribed, I definitely would love if you remember to subscribe as you watch this video. It just takes a few seconds. With 90,000 people watching my videos every month, I only have about 12,000 subscribers. So definitely it does help me out. So don't forget to just hit that subscribe button. And as you know, for all these junk charts, you can either fire them yourself if you have ammo reloaded or you can set them down and they will fire for you. The first thing we're going to do is actually to check to see is the damage the same because that will make a huge difference for testing because, well, if I can fire them manually, then that saves me the time of having to reload and reload and just fire one round. So we're going to do one regular ammo here. As you can see from R, this is a robotic turret ammo. We're going to shoot him in the back and... 14 damage. All right, baseline for that. We're going to do her in the back. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, miss. Nice. 34 damage. So I reloaded here. I'm going to try to uh, set it down right behind him. See when he shoots him in the back. 86, 86. Oh, that's uh, the same as we have on the previous uh, one when I did it manually. And I'm going to do this uh, poor lady in the back as well. Sorry, D didn't mean to shoot you from behind, but okay. Ooh, 21. I think I hit the head there. So let's uh, let's get rid of her. Let's redo that one. That's one of the things that can be a little bit hard to do when you're having the charts doing the cells because they could be aiming for the head. Let's reload. Come on. Reload. Do another one. And set it down. And 21. Still. Alright. Let me <laughs> try it again. That's a lot of damage. A little bit of a pain here to make sure I don't hit her in the head. So I'm going to see. Can I uh, see if I can prevent that as well? Let me do something like this maybe. Just to... All right, this should be a normal one, 91, and that was same as 91. Interestingly that it actually likes to target her in the back of the head, so that's something to maybe keep in mind if you're doing it manually. I never shoot this one manually. manually. Normally I always put it on auto, but it looks like the damage is the same, 91, 91 versus 986, 986. So means that I can go ahead and do this without uh, risking that problem again. Because obviously if it's shooting on its own, it can hit in the head, it can hit in the leg, whatever. And we want to do some nice solid body shots. All right, we have now three strippers and I've turned them around so they can see the gruesome things I'm about to do to them. Uh, you know, it's not fair to just shoot them when they're watching. So let's have a look at the different ammo types. We have the robotic turret ammo, which is the standard one. We have the AP turret ammo and we have the shells, which is the shotgun shells. So the regular one... So the regular one does 11 damage, 1 block damage, and 10 effective range. So that's something to keep in mind as well. They do have a range difference. Looking at the armor penetrating one, it has a range time of 11 as well. But also minus 20% armor, which means that if it's an armor target, it should be actually dealing more damage. Plus, it can penetrate through 1. Interesting. That it only says degradation 30%. Well, we'll see how that turns out. But an effective range is 11, which is interestingly slightly higher than the regular one. Wonder why. We go to the shells. Damage per pellet is 2, but it has 8 pellets. If you're looking at this one, which is 11 and 11. So 18 
It does, however, give additional armor. So I'm assuming that if it has already armor, like the Demolisher, which has, I believe, 60% armor, it should be dealing a fair bit less damage as well. Block damage zero, but only has range of six. So if you're wondering about the crafting, you can do that regular, just requires three iron for the regular turret ammo. We'll go to the robotic AP ammo. It takes five iron, so a little bit more. So definitely it's a little bit more expensive. We go to the shells. They also require buckshot, but it requires less iron. So it's slightly rebalancing a little bit how it is. Obviously the more expensive one is the AP one. So if you have a lot of iron, I guess you might as well just use it if it actually works as it should be. I reloaded with the regular ones. We're gonna shoot her in the back here. We're gonna do a sort of center here. So we're actually covering all of it and she does. All right, down to 91. So it's the usual 34 damage. That's what we were expecting. Now to reload, you hold R and you select AP ammo. You wanna do that one. So the baseline is 91. Shoot. All right, so that one did the same amount of damage which was expected because she doesn't have any armor. We're going to reload again and use the shells. I'm assuming they should be doing more than down to 91 and... Yes, it does. You saw it actually gave 40 more damage. It's up to 23 plus 25, so 48. And of course, the damage depends on the quality of your turret as well. So if I shift this one over to the regular one... We'll see it has 70 damage because of its Q6. I don't have any mods. If I put a mods, obviously it's going to go up. So this one definitely took more damage because it is an unprotected one. Quite significantly more, actually, I would have to add. About, I don't know, 60% more. These ones took the same. So that's against a non-armored target. Thank you very much, ladies. I'm going to have to cancel you guys now. And we go to a lightly armored target now. We're still using the regular ammo as you can see because we want to do the baseline check here. So the soldier has some armor. We're going to do one shot on the back and one, three, three, 17 damage. You notice that was significantly less than what the regular damage was on an unprotected. Um, we go to the second one and we're going to shift over to AP ammo here. I'm going to shoot this poor soldier in the back. And that's a bit surprising. It's doing the same damage. Am I using the correct one? It is. It's using the same and doing the same. Sorry, it's using different ammo than this, but it takes the same. That's really strange. And I don't think that's correct because this one is an armored target or should be. We'll try on the demolisher as well. Maybe there's something wrong with either the armor or the AP piercing ability. Let's shoot this one and 26. What? Uh, okay, that's really surprising. And the reason this is surprising is because while a shell should do less damage to an armored target, yes, all of them are hitting, but it should take the damage mitigation from the armor as well. Let's... Uh take these ones out and let's put in a demolisher because a demolisher has more armor so maybe against regular armor targets the fact if you hit them close range with the shells the fact that you have multiple pallet and a total damage output that is greater it's not outweighed by the fact that you also have armor at distance it'll probably be different so we can try that out as well but let's try against the, the demolisher here and let's do regular ammo here let's reload it's got 1,000 hit points, and I believe he has, maybe it was 40% uh, damage mitigation from his armor. Let's shoot him in the back. 986, okay. So that's uh, similar to previously, which is a little bit, uh, I, I guess, was, I, I was expecting it to be lower. Let's try this one. 986 as well. All right, there's definitely something wrong there. So let's uh, go over here, shoot him with the shell, and 984. So for all of these ones, actually using the shell seems to do more damage. Okay, that is really, really unexpected. So that makes it a little bit tougher here. So I brought in a shotgun here, and I'm going to be shooting with a regular shotgun shell. I'm also going to use the slug, which should be armor penetrating. So that should roughly correspond to the normal bunk shot versus the armor piercing. Just to see how that is for other weapons. Let's do Normal 180 here, if I shift over to the slug here, 
How much damage does that do? Why is that one dealing less damage? Let's try this again a little bit of a distance. So I'm going to shoot this demo here from uh, a bit about seven blocks. Okay, and then I'm going to switch back to the regular one. See how that goes. Of course, it's not going to hit with all these ones. And... Oh, it's missing entirely. All right, that's interesting. There it does. There it misses. So the regular one... Uh, just like it says on it, it has an effective range of 5. The other one has an effective range of 9. So definitely there's a difference here from using these ones. Because the regular shell will not be able to hit them at over 5 meters. That's really weird because I don't think that's really realistic. But anyway, if you're switching to this one, you get a little bit of extra range. But let's try this with a regular pistol. Because that one has regular ammo and also has the armor piercing. And looking at that... Regular ammo should be at 32 damage. Armor piercing should be 32, but it should have that armor uh, degradation or armor decrease. So it should actually deal more damage than armor target, assuming it's working. So let's do that back shot here. It's not a buck shot or shock gun shell type of shot. So it's just one, but at least we could check if the armor penetration is working properly. So back here, 23 damage. All right. And you would expect an armor piercing do more than 23 damage. Is doing exactly the same. Okay, that's really weird, which sort of implies that actually this is not being properly fixed. It's dealing the exact same damage. Yes, it does have the potential for shooting through, but that's still really, really weird. So I put down two demolishers here, and we're gonna switch over to using the armor piercing ammo here and see if that one actually does penetrate. So if we look at it, it should have uh, one penetration and we'll see how much damage that does to the second one. So we're shooting here. 9A6. They actually take exactly the same damage. That's actually a little bit surprising because my impression was that there should be a degradation even on the armor. If I shoot that again. 972, 972. So this one always seems to do the same damage even if it's on the second one. A little bit strange here. Is that intended? This is not quite what I was expecting from having this. Let's try if we're using the 9mm. Again, it's very similar. Just shoot him through the back. Yep, it's the same. So I guess full damage on the first and the second one. So this is where we're at. Using the regular one, again, this is point black. It deals 14 damage against the Demolisher. Of course, that's less than a regular one. If I put in, let's say, Stripper, which has no armor, it should deal a little bit more. We'll see the difference here at 91. So that's uh, 34 versus 14. So the armor definitely is applied when using the regular round. The weird thing is that when I'm using the armor piercing round, it still deals the same damage, even though it actually should apply minus 20% for the target armor. So it should be dealing more. It should also allow penetration, which it did. We just showed that. But for some reason, I don't know what all this means, but it basically seems to apply that there's no target armor decrease, but both of them, if they're standing in a row, will take the same damage. Really weird way of dealing with it. I don't think that's necessarily correct. Now, coming to the shells, this one has... Two damage per pellet, but it got eight pellets. It's supposed to boost the armor, but it doesn't really seem to do that. At least not enough to really make sense because this one takes more damage than even the regular ones. And I would assume this one actually takes significantly less, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Now, so the shells have two times eight is 16, but if it, it actually increased the armor by 40%, then presumably that means that at least six of this damage, meaning down to 10, should be applied. But 10 is definitely less than 11, 11, but it still deals more damage. But weirdly also it seems the regular round and armor piercing round deal this same damage. They do have the armor applicable, but I think something is really weird here. I think that the shells should definitely deal less damage considering that it has an extra plus 40% armor. 
and the armor piercing because they have armor penetration of 20 percent it should deal more damage so unless i'm really misreading this i think that something is not working quite properly it definitely doesn't seem to gel with my testing and alpha 18 where armor piercing rounds definitely did more damage against armor targets and shells or hollow points did more damage against unprotected targets here it seems to be well almost the same actually so that would and that doesn't seem to be what should be intended there should be a bigger difference here i guess to sum up i don't know what they fixed it doesn't seem like it's the correct way of calculating damage but if you have a different view if you have a different information definitely let me know in the comment section below but based on these findings, the only uh, real reason to use armor piercing is because you are intending to pierce through multiple enemies. And that might be useful if you are sort of in a corridor type of, of direction. But if you are like on rooftop and you're shooting into a crowd or even at vultures, it doesn't seem to make sense. If you're in a crowded place, you might also want to use the shell simply because you'll be able to do more maximum damage. And of course, since they are just crowding around, you'll probably hit with all the pellets anyway, even though it might spread out a little bit. So do you still use the junk turret? Let me know in the comment section below. Either way, be careful about using the junk turret around the demolishers. If you're shooting them for the front, chances are you set them off. And that can be really, really painful. A lot of booms. See you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.